talk about other message sending. It means we send a secure and complete free for API message in SML format to a designated listener. And we have to create workflow rule and send the other message to the employee. And I have a example in the case. I have a case object. And when we change the great cost and the pure priority in high, we send the case information, example a car ID, contact email, ready date to the employee. And I use the freight employee in the case to take the uh, sending of our messages. And we can see that's the number of requests to make. And we remember that workflow rule runs when the record chains are created. So uh, the important thing we should know, we, have a, we should have a, the right notification record and we can see that the return period and we should uh, put the right notification record uh, in this case that the SMR format and we can read in the Salesforce page and uh, get the right notification records. And this upon last of all know that the other message is sent successfully. And if you do not return the right upon the other message will show the error in sponsor's delivery of other message monitor. And server will keep resending the other message for next 24 hours. That is not good. So we should uh, confirm that uh, we should put the right notification record the uh, response is something like that and uh, now we will create a new workflow group, uh, to send the action send of our message for the object case And it's happened when creates and edits, and the criteria is priority equal to high. And now we will create a workflow action, and the action is sending our message. And now I create a new our message sending. We put the employee that is the face employee to set for sending of our messages, and that's it. The, the information to send to the employee, and I want to send a car ID, contact email, and create a date. We say it. Now we will tag uh, for the workflow rule to send the other message uh, by chain the K object records. And the important thing you should remember is we have to activate the workflow rule for the case. Now we change the records uh, with the criteria if priority key equal to high, and we can see that the priority is high, and we change what company here, and we check the number of records before sending. And now we say this, and now we trigger the workflow rule and we send the other message to the employee and we can set and see that the number of requests now is 1 this means that the other message is sent successfully uh, to check the status of uh, sending the other message we can go to other message monitor and we can see that in the uh, next item for delivery this means that some other message not sending successfully is keep 
in the the cure and standing for next 24 hours and in the case we can we don't see any kids that means that it's certainly sandy and the problem of the grace is the great journal support for the library cost is the main uh, i want to uh, when to list a request in the ui the record will be sent to the employee by our message for the case the will follow journal support for the case so we can create a few in con action and the change the action to delete this uh, it just work for short delete this means that we don't read the record it just change part of the records but uh, it's not good way to do so we go to the second way to mean we control on the apex code and that's the step to uh, control the APIC code to send in the our message to the employee and the first thing we generate to be you at TL5 from the our message and now we go to the uh, the our message and we can see that some our message here and that's the, the our message which are created and we can see the employee URL the employee to be you at TL we can click for to be as there and we can see that it's generate the SML for I mean to be your idea for right and we can read from the software way for understanding the upper message to be your idea right and we should notice that in this to be your idea right however the person can 11 e notifications that is the element uh, contain the information uh, of the uh, information to send to the employee. Uh, in the case, we send the K notification for the object uh, case and some of the other uh, information. And the second step, we will save it right and translate to the APEC class. And now we go to APAS class and click to send in or uh, to generate to the APAS class. And we can generate from to be you at here. Paste to to be you at DL5. And we paste to APAS class. And we can pay to three APEC class in the K, and we can change the APEC class name. And uh, in the K, I have already Gen Fay, so uh, I jump to it again. And uh, that is uh, three file I generate this, uh, and I convert the GL Promises and GL as of the Enterprise. And we can look for in this file. And we can see that uh, it's however the GR bar message like a name. And it, in the uh, file has the class notification. And we uh, notice the function notification. And it contains the some parameter to uh, send to the employee. Uh, that's the uh, information to send in. And the important thing that is the case notification that is the object to send to the employee and in the case notification it contains the information to send and especially you should uh, remember the add object is case object and the case object contained in this file and that is the three information your car ID, contact email and creative date that is the three information to send to the employee and now the third uh, step we write the APEC code to count the notification function in the APEC class uh, we have just generated and we should read uh, from this page to understand the methods and the information to send and now I have uh, the some code for the demo 
that is the song call to send and call the person notification and we go to the execute the anonymous and I uh, do the call and that is the simple call to uh, call the person notification and I uh, pass the parameter like this and it tells me the information uh, of case object I want to send to the emperor and I will uh, bring the uh, reserve after sending and uh, we will see this I will execute this function now we can see the log to see the result oh, you can see that button is success it means that uh, it's sending and you can see the uh, the chip of only and see the result is true it means that the request sending successfully and you can see the number of requests increase to two and uh, see the pay first day is the post that is the request to sending and that is the information to send uh, from uh, my code Okay, that's it. The second way to send the alpha message by the APEC code, and we can control and put the code, put the code in anywhere you want.